Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with part two of the triple yolk puzzle. Now I know how to pronounce this, yolk, not yolk. And before I start, I would like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. More about Squarespace and how you can personally benefit from the sponsoring. I'm gonna show you later in this video. I have some good news and bad news for you. The bad news are I haven't solved it yet. The good news are I will not release this video before I solved it, so. Got the point? Yes, okay. And I will split this video in three parts, actually introduction and then a solving part where I try to figure out the solution. Hopefully I will make it. And then at the third part of the video, I gonna explain you in detail how this puzzle works and solve it, like having a walk through together with you, explaining each single step. By the way, I also will attach at the very end of this video, the introduction of last video again. If you haven't seen it, check it out at the end of this video or at the beginning of last video best introduction I ever made. So be sure you've seen it if you would like to understand how I got my hands on this puzzle. That's it basically for the introduction. And after the spoiler break, I'm gonna continue trying to open the triple yoke. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's maybe do a quick summary. We have solved the first layer. We put the yolk in the first layer. We went to the second layer, passed through this maze, used the mechanism here in the center to free the second yolk, the first one, is still inside the puzzle, which is just a brass ball. We then learned that we can use the second yoke to manipulate these sliders, if you remember, and also to rotate the second layer, enabling our first yoke to, to use the third layer to transfer from one area of the maze to the other. I will explain this in very detail later, but just to summarize. Then we were able to get to a specific point in the maze, which we couldn't uh, reach earlier. And we were able to drop from up here, down here into this layer. It's some kind of ring and it seems to be fixed. I can't rotate it at least. Something inside is blocking it. So we are now here in this layer. Let's call it fourth layer. We could confirm that the ball is in the fourth layer now. It's because it's visible through this hole here. So it's inside here and it can roll from here to the left and to the right. And for some reason, sometimes it disappears. Also, there's a hole in the center of the fourth layer. And the ball can go inside, but it cannot go through. Kind of similar like in the beginning up here, where we need to, to shift the layer to enable the ball to pass through. So I would expect also, maybe I need to manipulate here the ring to get through the hole in, in the center. And this is basically where I stopped the last time. In the meanwhile, I played offline with this puzzle another 10 minutes, so I add them to the clock. And there might be square track or something because you can hear this makes very strange moves when rotating it. And this is something, but I thought a little bit more in detail about it. And last time I also noticed that there are some magnets around here and each of the magnets is located at one of these points, but sometimes it's magnetic and sometimes it's not magnetic. Makes me conclude, of course, something is moving inside. And then I found out that if I tilt it to this side, it's magnetic. If I tilt it to the other side, it's not magnetic. Tells me there's probably a ball running in the center. Also, what I noticed is that it can be magnetic over here and over here at the same time, telling me there are two magnet, magnetic balls or sliders inside, probably balls, one on the left, one on the right hand side. So something like this. And there is a steel ball running in here, a steel ball running in here, a steel ball running in here. And here in the beginning, this is our place where we have the hole to look inside. This track seems to be somehow like so. So the first thing I will try to do now is, and I will do this upside down, I think, because I can't imagine that I will open it up in this orientation facing downwards because probably the creator, Luis, you want to see when you solve this and when you just open it up. So I would expect it's opening up in this condition. I will try to get all the balls to the very out. Not sticking over here. Ah, now it's sticking. Ah, here it is. Or no, not working at all. Hmm. Completely gone. Maybe in some kind of a channel. Yes, okay. So this, there's actually a track going all the way around here, all the way 
and it seems there are balls inside here inside here here and here these balls move back and move back and forth and then there is this fifth ball our our yolk and this can run circle around here but it's blocked by the balls When twisting this ring and looking at this knob here, there's no interaction visible. But if I twist this ring here, you can see that there is some interaction with the knob. I'm not sure if this is visible, but there is a very slight movement of this knob. So this seems to be the locking mechanism for this last step probably here to open it up. So I would assume it's not connected to this ring. My yoke is now here at this ball. I will, to make it enter the track, I will hold this ball in position, twist it until it's nearly at the top. My yoke is right beside here. If I release it now, it should drop down and maybe the yoke will also drop inside of this hole. Let's see. It should not be dropping down here again, but it should be dropping back in here. Let's see if the... Okay. Yes. Okay, so now it's back here again. So I got now two bolts inside here. And this one is small enough to enter this track. This one is not, this one is bigger. So what if I get two bolts inside, then turn around 90 degrees that this small ball will get over here and the big one get over here and is stopped in a specific distance from the outer wall. And maybe it can enter some other area to unlock the puzzle. So. Now the ball is either here or here and the pin is inside. So what if I turn this over here? Yeah, do you hear this? This could work. So let me roll against the pin. I twist it. The pin drops in. The ball is now either here or here. But the ball is more sensitive to sliding. So I twist it very carefully. The, you hear the ball's not rolling around here fluently. There's kind of a step or something. This could be maybe one of these locking features. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> I can twist it. I can twist it. I can twist the ring. It's unlocked. And now, what should I do now? Maybe unlock the puzzle? No, but I can twist the ring. Huh? Come on. Don't do this to me. No, now it's locked again. Ah! <laughs> okay, again, again. I won't give up now. Oh, this is so much fun, guys. Oh, do you feel the tension? <laughs> Let's try it different. I go here. I try the opposite side now. I try to unlock this one. Fix it, roll away with the ball over here and do the same over here. Man, if this works, this would be insane. Building this inside a puzzle is even more crazy, huh? Louis, so. <laughs> I got it again, it works guys, it works. Woo, okay. Okay, I need to hold it upright. It's now inside the hole in the center here. And I need to hold it exactly upright now and twist it. Oh, what was that? Ball is still in the center according to what I see. Oh! Huh? What? You see this? <laughs> oh my gosh! What's going on here, guys? What's going on here? These are buttons. They come out. It just came out now. Okay. Here we go, button out. Other button out. Oh, did you hear that? I think the ball dropped now. Ah, oh, yes. These two jump to the outside. Now the, there's space for the ball to pass through. Of course, of course. Can be so easy. And now, <gasps> watch this guys. I need to turn it around. Oh my 
gosh. Do you see this? Oh, this is what I call a reward. Insane. Now look inside the box, okay? What does it mean? Does something shoot at me now or where's the ball right now? No, no, it's locked again. Come on, guys. Let me zoom in a bit. <gasps> oh, where did it go? Ah, <sighs> here we go. Puzzle solved. Yes, I got it. Now I have a I have a strange feeling what this means. Now look in the box. If there's something inside this box, like the solution or something, can this puzzle get even better? Seriously? Yes, it can. <laughs> believe it <sighs> comes even with a stand or what oh come on <laughs> yes okay i solve this now another time draw here for each layer a picture zoomed in a little bit that you can see the pictures probably and i think i understood this puzzle now close to 100% or 100%. But before we look at the solution and I explain you in very detail how this works, as announced in the beginning of this video, I would like to take a moment and thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. If you ever thought about creating your own website for business, hobby, or, or just for fun, you have to check out Squarespace because they make it easier than ever before without any programming or stuff like that to build your own website. Just pick one of the award-winning templates customize it with your content. They even provide you the possibility to manage email campaigns to unify your brand voice between website and email to have them look in the same style. And you can even add online schedule and booking features to offer courses, enable potential clients to see your availability and so on. And the integrated website analytics keep you informed about the trends and traffic sources which help you to optimize your content based on your audience. Interested? If yes, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash mrpuzzle to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring my channel. And now let's just double check the solution. And most of the things I draw here, maybe all of them, but most of them at least should be correct. And if you understand how this exactly works, you can guess how much thinking went into designing this. Overall, depending on how you rate the single steps, there are 11 tasks that need to be completed. First step. First step is easy. I just take the top here, rotate it and free the first yolk. First step completed. I take this first yolk and insert it in the first layer. Well, there's a hole in here. I put it in. It can roll around here and drop into the second layer. So a circle means drop down. A black circle means go up and a circle with a cross mean you can go up and down. So there are two holes above of each other. I will arrive in a second layer and I will come out of this hole. So I can look inside here and see the ball now in this position. And this is basically the second step. You need to solve the maze around here all the way into the center. So I'm now in the center, found the button and I will position my first yolk in this kind of a deepened area. And if I found it, the ball will st stay in place and I can press the button completely down. There's another cavity on the top. And if I align these two cavities, and I can press the button a little bit more down than before. So, I can, so first I need to align this hole. This is the second yolk. I can twist and you hear this nice move. And at one point, whoop, it will drop out. But I do not go back to the beginning. But before I go up out here and there is another hole over there. The problem is I cannot drop in because on the third layer there is a slider that is currently blocking this hole. So what I need to figure out, and this is this, the, se uh, the fourth step, I need to take the yolk and understand that I can grab these sliders with the magnet inside of the yolk and slide it over here. And if I do so, this hole will be released and the ball will drop one layer down from here into the third layer. So when this happened now. Now the ball is in here. So I roll over here. This hole is now closed. However, I can release it of course again by sliding this slider back. Ball is now here. And I will go up again. And this time I will move out of this hole. And I can access an area of the maze which was visible before when looking here inside. 
but I could not enter it. So I now go one level up and I will want to drop in this hole. If I go over here, of course I cannot just drop in. I need to execute here or unlock the second slider. So I slide it open again. Now I dropped from here over here by moving the slider to this side. I move along this path over here, putting the slider back to enable the ball to go up again. So the ball is now in this position. Now there comes a move I didn't understand in the beginning because I go if I go up now, I do not go just one level up. According to how I understood it, I go from the third layer through the second layer. So there's just a hole in the or a path in the second layer. And then I end up in the first layer, move these 90 degrees here and drop into this hole and end up here. So I should be able to see the ball in here and it's caught in here, but it can move pretty much nowhere. So this is what I'm gonna do now. I go up, now I'm here, 90 degrees over here and down again. If I do so, I can see the ball and you can see it also now here. The ball is now in here. What's not really visible here is that there's also a hole on the bottom side. Means if I take the second yoke, and this is very tricky thing, I need to say, take the second yoke, put it in here, but um, with the magnet inside, so here it's repelled. But if I put it in the opposite direction, it's unlocking some kind of a mechanism. You can hear it. Now it's unlocked. And now I can twist the complete second layer by 90 degrees and the ball at one point will drop inside of a hole. Here we go. It's gone. And it will, it will drop inside this hole, fall through the third layer into the fourth layer and come out here. So it's now down here. And this part down here on the, of the puzzle is super tricky. It's a basically a puzzle for itself. Let me explain it like this. There is basically a hole here in the center and I need to move the ball over here inside the hole. You can see this hole through a window over here, which is this window. So if you have a good view and good light, you can look inside and sometimes you can guess that there is some kind of a hole in the center or close to the center. In fact, it's a little bit eccentric. But in the end, I understood, I mean, you saw when I solved the puzzle that these must be pins. And if you're talking about pins, I was finally able to understand how it's locking. Here on the outer wall, there must be some kind of a notch or something where the pins slide in and lock it. And since the pins are always locked when they are to the outside, you need to get them all inside. And this is very tricky and very brilliant how this is realized. So now the ball is over here where it came down. And I will solve this and unlock the puzzle the following way. Watch out. So I move it over here, means both pins slide over here. This one in locked condition, this in unlocked condition. Now I carefully tilt the puzzle until the ball will roll and come to a stop over here beneath the pin. So I wait until the ball finished moving. And if it does, I will tilt the puzzle more until the pins are moving. So, means the ball is now here. This pin can't come out, but this one dropped inside. So I unlock now the first two pins. Now I need to hold it exactly upright, move over here. Don't ask me how I figured this out, guys. <laughs> this is insane. Now I move it back. So now this one is in and this one is out and the ball is all rolled all the way down here and stopped here at this pin. So now I carefully tilt it sideways and towards here that the ball will come back and then stop finally here in this position. So it stopped, tilted more to unlock the other pin. Ta -da! I will slightly twist it to the side to misalign the pins 
and these locking features. So now I can handle the puzzle however I want because the pins cannot slide inside these locking notches. So the ball is now here somewhere and I can freely roll around and move it inside here of the center hole. I moved it to the center and now I continue twisting this ring. One. And number two will come out here. And number two. And actually with these two features, if I press them in, I can unlock the mechanism here on the bottom side. However, I will continue twisting this ring because I want to move it already to the final position. Otherwise I need to solve, maybe solve it again. So I will put it over here. The ball now dropped already down in this compartment. Usually this is um, not the case and it's another step that you need to solve. And now this mechanism here is unlocked because the pins are out and I can carefully twist it and access the third yolk. The second yolk at this point is sometimes still caught in this layer here. I now aligned these two layers. As you can see here, I already aligned them because I know the point I need to go to. Otherwise you might now solve the, uh, unlock the sliders again and then you can take the third yolk out. And this, guys, this is how you solve the triple yolk puzzle. What should I say about this puzzle? It's insanely well designed. A lot of brilliant ideas went into it. Even more brilliant it's, is how it's manufactured. I mean, this is, all these parts are printed. They are so precise and fine-tuned to make these sliders work and everything. This is insane. This is not just a puzzle, that's really a piece of art. So Louis, thank you very much for letting me trying this puzzle. It was a insane journey to figure it out. I will now reset this puzzle again. And I hope you like this episode. Let me know in the comments what you think about my explanation. So let me know if this was understandable. Let Louis know what you think about this puzzle. From my point of view, difficulty level five, satisfaction level five, and quality also level five. Definitely one of the best puzzles I ever tried. I hope you also enjoyed it. And until next time, keep on puzzling. Ah, and before I forget, let me just show you again the introduction of the first episode of the Triple York because yeah, why? Because it just rocks. So here we go. Hmm. <gasps>